Hello everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. Um, last time we officially filled out our old layouts, you know, style. We have uh, all the dormitories made, all these 80 round. We have this canteen that serves these two. We have this this canteen that serves these uh, these two sets. And then we have expanded family wing and we have the protective custody slash um, minimum security area down here that way they're over here i don't know if some of the minimum the protective custody might be over here or if they take them out just simply for the fact that they are protective custody uh, we did have some people try to tunnel out so they might have ruined my, my roads and stuff again in fact they're, they're still like injured and all that good stuff and um, but yeah, I was debating off camera where exactly to put an expanded visitation. And I was thinking over here might actually be a good place. It has separate access to the outside I can build. And we can make it where this whole little corner here is visitation instead. I don't need clone. I need planning. Uh, everything's two away. So i got to make sure that's too late so we can do something like that and we can have its own access here to the outside wall and maybe have like a little security desk two three four a security room here next to it one two three four and we can have a mirrored like little staff room three four and we can have a door here and a door here that lets visitors do and have this larger visitation room but it gives me some type of buffer uh, a buffer zone that i can mark as staff only and have these other rooms also staff only that way they have some type of staff room over here as well probably a little bigger so we can have staff room and security room that way we have guards that want to linger over here we can station one guard in this there and guard here and they can like exist throughout the whole corridor but i thought that was a good place so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build i'm gonna start by building this and then we need to put in the other walls which are these what because i have to put a gate right here we'll have to put a gate right here that allows access uh to the outside which is pretty cool. I thought about moving my these gates, these right here gates. I thought about moving those to down here, but I'm not. Well, it really doesn't matter as long as there's some type of access in some form or fashion. So we want to make sure we have doors available. Oops! I canceled the entire foundation. There we go. Come on, build it now. Don't linger. And we will get that built up and we'll get our new and fancy visitation over here. I figure we can squeeze them in somehow. They don't have to be perfect in any means necessary. But yeah, they can, they can have some type of interesting way to put. Uh, I guess we need to also prevent them from going past this point. And right now we'll just do this and we'll prevent them from going past. I guess their door will be here. So we'll prevent them from going past at this point as well. There we go. Uh, the building actually is attached. Uh, please fix this. I can't. The yeah, hour not stuck. Actually, they are stuck because I can't go through here. I didn't place that door. I clicked off my thing. Um, so we can put a door here. And we'll get them to hurry, hurry and fix this. And we'll watch those guards just do the jig in there. And he's stuck. What, what are you doing exactly? Why are you not building these buildings like I told you to? I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so these can be demolished. Oh, no, not those. Uh, these two can be demolished. Okay. 
Uh, you don't have access to this? Oh. There we go. Y'all are free now. Uh, we want to station a guard down here. Right here, and we want to station one as soon as I build the walls. We want a guard station here. That way he can open and close these doors uh, at all time, and we can make this nice and pretty. Because why not? We want to have some grass right here, grass here, and some concrete tiles here. Cool. The fact is, right now, the only access is to the outside wall. I need to fix that. And we're going to have some wooden flooring in this place, I think. I like the wooden flooring. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so there's the wooden flooring in place, and let's also get the brick walls and all that good stuff in place. There we go. There's the walls going in place, and we also need to put in a lovely, awesome um, staff door. In a couple places. It's fine. It's cool. They're not done yet. Why you're not why you're not finished this? And this is going to be entrance to a lovely new awesome visitation room. Cool. So let's line up this place up and get this place online. It looks nice in here at least. I think it's nice. Oh, we don't have power down here either. So we got to get some power down here for all these lights and things. Um, let's see. I hope a guard makes it to her. Yeah, there they go. I was like, she's kind of far away. So I hope they made it to her and they did. So it's good. All right. I'll keep placing these lights in the wrong spot. There we are. So let's get utilities down here. We will use the same utilities uh, from here. There we go. That should be power run everywhere. It should, I say. So let's do that. I don't like the fact that the parole room people are now going through here. Um, huh. Let's check these toilets. Let's check them. No me it uncovers instantly, so let's check them anyway, just for safety's sake. And that will be fantastic as well. I'm getting a lot of overdosing. That's why I have those stupid pharmacological drug treatment things. Um, any doctor slash guard taking them? Yes. Okay. If I could bring a guard over them, a medical person there. So now they're using this as a second entrance. So it's kind of weird. In the own right. We want to make sure we set this though. A staff only, and this, and this. That way they don't get the idea that it's okay um, to go in that section. Especially, especially this tiny section is literally one doorway from from leaving. Um, we don't we don't want that. And then we need to make this a visitor room, a visitation. Okay, first I have something going here. Oh, the radio is done. Okay, so I can put all the radios back in the rooms, which is fantastic. So we need to just lay them out um, as neatly as possible. And we'll have a much larger visitation room for all, all these ladies to have their lovely visitation. Let's acknowledge this thing right here. Hopefully a guard is coming. Are you going to... Yeah. Okay, they are. They're actually going, so it's fine. But this should fill all the needs of visitation. 
for any time. Any time whatsoever. All right, the other rooms we want to have is the staff room. And we want to have it right. We'll put it here. And we'll put security on the other. There we go. Yeah, a lot of people are using this as a pass-through. It's really weird. Um, so let's get these right here online. I don't mind as long as they're actually working and going through everything. As long as they're actually doing what they're supposed to be doing, I don't, I don't really care. This is not going to be a major undertaking. Uh, let's put the toilets on this wall. We're going to put some toilets in this wall. I want to give them a sofa or two to sit on. This is actually just a staff room to rest. It's not actually a staff room to actually function in. Um, so let's get some water down here. There you go. So get your pipes in place. Get your staff room going. How many toilets do I have in my staff rooms? Two there. Do I have any in the other ones? Yeah, there's toilets in those. How about the one on this side? Wherever I put it. Here it is. It's like two. So yeah, this is gonna be have a this is basically a nice toilet stop for everyone. Now they actually utilize this side passage a lot. It's not bad. I like I don't mind doing that. I don't mind having a a way for them to get around. Safe to say. Um, so let's get the nice little office room going as well. So that gives me the security room. The security people to do their security things. And that way I can station someone in here at all times. Of course there's one right here, which is fine. And they probably they actually dig out or not. We're gonna search these toilets. There we go. So they're searching those toilets because that's closest to this, and I don't think they would have, but we did it anyway. Cool. So we have this massive visitation room now. A humongous visitation room. It's got staff room availability, security ability, and a whole bunch of capacity. It's like one, it's five times four, it's 20 tables in there compared to our measly six. Measly. Um, this side, though, I need to change this visitation, this room into visitation. So I need to have a storage room for them. And I figured that would be a good thing to do with this room over here. If I build this humongous building here out, I can make half of it a workshop for the men of security people that will be over here, and the other half as just storage and exports and stuff like that. Because so I have a lot of stuff here. I could also boost my forestry uh, like substantially by taking this entire room here. It gives my people something to do and it gives me money out of the exports of the wood. So I may do that. And I could do the same thing with this dead zone and this dead zone. Depends how much space I need for uh, 1,000 people. If I buy like this plot of land here, oh, it'll allow me to boost everything out. I could buy all four. Uh, corners. That way it allows me to really go to town on the capacity. So, it just depends. It really just depends on exactly what I want to do in the long run. Uh, let's build this brick building here as well. And we'll get that underway, under construction. So they've already got two yards over here, but the other side only has one yard. So we actually will need a new yard in the other place. Uh, I'll have to figure out exactly how I want to lay this out. Because as I said, I will split this building into like different sections. Let's split this top section. Let's split it here, for starters. And let's split off. I don't want to have more than one export set. Because the problem with having more than exports is because they might want to take it over there. We'll split the top half or the bottom half. Let's put the bottom half to the um, storage. This will be storage and this will be 
other things. We'll have to have a tiny infirmary, or is it close enough? I think it's close enough. Services, I think it will be good. I think it'll be fine. And we'll have a nice, lovely... We're going to have to have, like, some airlock. We'll put a door here, and we'll have a door um, here. We'll have, like, an airlock inside of it. Uh, please build these doors so I can have control. Man, they built that building fast. That can be replaced. And we had to do all these paving floors as well. To here. And their cutoff will be here. And also here. Will be a cutoff. And here will be a cutoff. There we go. Awesome. They split it in half. And we also want to do this. So we'll put a staff door in here. And here. That way they have access to the staff only room section. Which would be fantastic. So they already opened this to the outside. That way they have ability to walk through. Which is perfect. And we can... Okay, this is fun. Uh, I'm going to stop for a second here. Um, this is a medical emergency. Yeah, this is why I have infirmaries uh, literally right next to this thing. But if you look, there is a accident waiting to happen here. It's saying, a prisoner has been seriously wounded in a workshop accident and can't be moved. Send a doctor quickly. Luckily, I have a doctor literally right here. And they can come here, see them, fix them, and call it a day. And she's fine. She bled to death, almost, but, yeah, it's fine. She's good. There's a shit ton of butt blood on the ground. Look at that. Look at all that blood. Somebody will come and clean it in a little bit. Alright. So, we have our new storage. We want to actually cancel this as a storage altogether. We don't want this to be a storage anymore. And now we need storage to be here. Fantastic, right? Good. And we want this to be like a little buffer zone that's going to house some lovely, awesome metal detectors. Because we got to have metal detectors here. Because we can't have people leaving with stuff. Nope. Not at all. Not in the size. And I think I'm going to put their own their own power station here because the workshop uses a lot and this is a good place to put it and just shove it in the corner here and this thing and we have to we have to give it some water which should be fine because we have to get um what's your hickeys we'll have to get us some lovely awesome oh wait I don't want to have those in there uh, because of water being a problem. We will have to get sprinkles, basically, to prevent fire from happening. I'm having a lot of overdose people. Let's acknowledge it to clear it. I've acknowledged you. There we go. You're acknowledged. Fancy. All right, and we have to be, get sprinklers and slices. So let's get our sprinklers in here, 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 and here. Cool. And that will run the workshop pretty much exclusively. That way I don't have to worry about it. It's basically the workshop um, power system. It can power the one next to it if I wanted it to. How full is this one? No, it's fine. It probably would have been good on that one, but I don't know how many tables and stuff I actually want to have here. And I think I am going to expand this to be a very long, massive um, forestry section. I think it would just be cool to have forestry as a massive section. Forestry. Not infirmary. Forestry. So we'll have a massive forestry section. Uh, it flagged it, but nothing. We'll do a search at the end of the night. So let's go two away, and let's literally just make a massive forestry. And 
and we'll get rid of this one and we can make this an extended thing if we wanted to an extended uh, use thing why is there tables in here I think that was something else initially I think it was my holding cell or something and I don't know why I placed tables in there but apparently I've placed tables in there uh, we'll have to change these doors out for the correct kind of doors so we'll start with this one and we'll take away this one as well we got this huge forestry section that's a big forestry section it's crazy we're gonna get them to work on this so first I don't really care about the other thing at the moment. And this is going to be a workshop. I will need another foreman for this. We can put him having an office uh, somewhere. I'm going to give him an office up here in the corner. That way he don't have to go very far. Just give him another one on the other side there. So this is going to be a big workshop. That no one can work in at the moment. And we need to have an office for him. We can put him someone somewhere over here. I'll find room for him somewhere. I don't know where that will be, but we will. I may put more parole rooms over here. That may be something to do here. Parole rooms and an office for the foreman. Or I can just give him a corner out of here. So, corner of this room. I don't think that would be a bad idea. Just give him the corner here. We'll just like box it in here and they get to walk through the foreman's office. I'm going to do a shakedown, guys. Um, and that way it'll be fancy. And he'll have access to everything going on over here. Maybe the right side's foreman, basically. Uh, was it actually a tunnel? No, yeah, it wasn't actually a tunnel. Something about being the doggy guy. You find tunnels. No guarantee. You're guaranteed to find those tunnels. Okay, so they're moving those doors now, so I can put the correct doors in. Give me this one and this one, and let's make sure the deployment is correct again. Staff only. I want this to be staff only. You need to fix that. There's no access to it. I'm going to demolish these walls, and I think it's closed off already. Yeah, it is. So I can actually get rid of these walls. Because it's actually fixed. It's actually set correctly. And we can get rid of this planning right here. And these. And uh, anything else that I have over here. But cool. We have a huge workshop with the new foreman's office underway. Shove it desk here and a filing cabinet here and a chair here. Now let's get another foreman. Oh, I can't. I can't have more than one foreman. Ah, oh, well, I don't need this office. Hmm. You can hire more than one accountant. You can't hire more than one foreman. So I thought you could, but you can't. Alright, so let's just dismantle all these and this door, and we will get rid of the walls. Let's just do the clear indoor area right here. How about that? And I want you to fix it now. Do it now. Fix it right now, and we'll make this storage afterwards. Come on. I saw the alert for the tunnel, but I'm not that concerned with it at the moment. All right. So storage, it is again. Cool. All right. So let's just remove all tunnels it might have found. In the entire place. There we go. Do it all.
I don't really care if those are priority or not. That's fine. Alright, so what else is there to do at the moment? We need to, to find a room to put the, put the teaching on. That's the problem is no one can teach over here. There it goes. Like, bring up the thing. Um, hmm. So if I start them again, no one can do it. Because there should be two workshops now. So there's a workshop here and a workshop here. If I extend the time of the free time to have four on both of them then we should be able to do the same logic okay, we'll do this and then we will uh, I know I know I know no time slot available we will also go into this thing and we'll rearrange this to that, this to this. They don't need that much free time, guys. Uh, we'll give them some, we'll move the yard to here. Actually, an hour to eat is fine. We'll give them an hour of free time here. And we'll give them free time there, but we'll give them one hour of walk up first thing in the morning. You're in lock up. Sorry. Schedule has changed so we can fit that program in a time slot. And it should be fine now. It should fix it though. Safety. We'll have to manually add it. Uh, carpentry fixed itself. Okay. Workshop safety didn't. But cool. So now the foreman is really busy um, doing all that stuff. Just fine. But they can't teach because there's nothing set up in here. So that's all we need to do now. We need to actually set this up, get it running, and that will be fantastic. So let's do this. And um, let's pause for a moment and let us set up the saws and presses. So we'll have saw and press. Press. Same way on the other side we'll do it. And we'll have some tables down the center. Pretty cool. We'll have a couple of carpentry benches on other side. And we'll do this. We'll do another set of saws and presses. Uh, let's fix this to where it's less dumb. And presses. And then power for all of it. Um, I think it's here and here that it has to be powered. All right, so there we go. That's the lovely awesome of those. And then we want to put some lights in here because we want to be able to see. I think I think I'd like to see in this place. I think the workers would love to see as well. And here and. Cool. So let's get this going so we can get this place online. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan to me. And we'll get power here and here and here and here. And we have power going everywhere. Awesome. So now we have to copy one more dorm, which will have probably all of one custody. I think I'll have this one turned back to protective only, and this one will be uh, the fancy other stuff. Um, so that's my plan there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here for now. And next time we shall continue 
and we will fix this program, uh, this dormitory here, that way we can boost over 500. So we'll do it. I will actually do the grant work um, that's actually laid out by the game. Um, I'm not going to count that as all of it, but simply because, I, as I said, I laid out my mission of trying to get to the thousand. But if you think this is 500, I have to do exponential growth several more times to do that. And there's not enough space on this map to do it at the current time. So I'll have to add them another yard. I'll have to add more, pretty much everything to undertake this. I mean, the visitation's fine. Uh, I think visitation's under control, especially on the normal minimum security. I think visitation, once I fix the right side, which I can really do extremely simply by copying, uh, we probably won't have to boost it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost the left side mainly. And that will be a thing to take in consideration. Um, we're going to do this right here. And speaking of radiators, I will also have to um, fix this to have radiators because there's no, there's no heat in here. Oh, look, it looks nice now. Looks really wonderful. Uh, we'll decorate this up next time, and we'll also, as I said, do this thing. So we're working more on the right side to pretty much finish the main prison. And then we'll go on to boosting to the epic and awesome 1,000. I mean, I can do it easier said than done. So this means I need 500 people. just means adding more beds to each one of these things. Of course, some of the count I have is also... Uh, family cells, but that means I also have to add more family cells, which means I do have to buy probably the top section up here. This will probably be the section I buy. 120,000. So, yeah. But that's for next time. That's future me's problem. But for now, that's all I have, and I'll see you next time. Bye!